Good evening. I'd like to call to order this, the regular town council meeting for Tuesday, March 14th, 2023. Please rise for a moment of silence. Of the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Allenson? Here. Carmody? Here. Fishbein? Here. Laffin? Here. Roan? Here. Tata? Here. Testa? Zandri? Here. Chairman Cervoni? Here. Thank you. Can I get a motion on the consent agenda, please? Mr. Chairman, I move we approve or accept consent agenda items A through B. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the consent agenda passes. Uh, we do have several appointments or reappointments. Mr. Doherty is here. Um, if you want to come up and be sworn, I don't think I see any of the other appointments or reappointments. But am I missing anyone? No. <laughs> Mr. Doherty is being reappointed to the Board of Ethics for a three-year term. Do you solemnly swear to faithfully discharge according to law your duties at, at the Board of Ethics for the Town of Wallingford to the best of your ability to help you out? Thank you for signing up again. Moving on, item four, I'm not aware of any items removed from the consent agenda. On to item five, the public question and answer period. If you could come up and give us your name and address for the record, please. And my question is for Mr. Mayor. Um, my question is in regards to bike racks, if I could. Um, I wanted to ask you, Mr. Mayor, about bike racks. Um, I'm not specifically talking about ones just in uptown area um, around Simpson Court, but also in um, Center Street area and other downtown areas. I know there's been discussion in the past about installing bike racks, and I'm just wanting to get um, your explanation on why this hasn't materialized yet. Bike racks, as, as you've indicated, uh, are in the uh, Simpson Court area. Uh, to my knowledge, there's not been re one requested lower areas of the town. Well, at the current time, there's only one bike rack, and it holds at most four small bikes. So in the past, it was my understanding that there were bike racks that were requested, but there was no direction for them to be installed. Is that correct? Uh, and that's not my memory of it. There, there certainly was bike, a bike rack was requested in the area behind, well, it's off of Wallace Street um, behind the uh, Episcopal church um, and it was felt really that that was not very visible and probably would not get used very much if people were going to the Simpson uh, Simpson Court area so uh, a bike rack was placed in the area of the island in Simpson Court and uh, I, I have not regularly seen it used but I'm sure it's used at, at times otherwise um, 
I, I don't recall requests rego going down Center Street. There's not really any good locations along Center Street given the narrow sidewalks, et cetera. It would be possible to put a bike rack in the newly paved parking area across the tracks along uh, North Cherry Street. Okay, so you'd be open if, if areas were scouted and the finances were there, you would be open to bike racks in any of the areas, either uptown Center Street or anywhere else, maybe that would be helpful uh, to businesses. Yeah, I have, I have no opposition to it. It's just, again, uh, where it's safe to place them and um, hopefully people will use them. Yeah, I, I think there would definitely be a, a use for them. And, and in recent activities with the downtown businesses, one of the leading complaints that they've had about some of the young teens that have been downtown have been that bikes have been blocking their entrances or leaning up against their trees or against their windows and they haven't been especially happy about that and one of their requests to me as a parent of, of some of those kids has been if they had bike racks that would be helpful for their patrons not to have to be stepping over them and so that would be helpful so I'll definitely be coming back and putting that on the agenda so that we can can get that done in downtown thank you thank you anyone else Well then, I will close the public question and answer period and move on to item six, which is to conduct a public hearing and consider an act on uh, the ordinance entitled an ordinance amending an ordinance appropriating $1 million for North Brantford Road Bridge. But let me <coughs> open the public hearing. I hereby convene the public hearing for the amendment of the $1 million ordinance for Northford Road road bridge reconstruction adopted November 24th, 2015 to increase the appropriation and bond authorization by an additional $1,030,000. The ordinance, which is the subject of the public hearing, is available to the public and may be obtained at this meeting or from the town clerk. Is there a motion and a second to read the title of the proposed ordinance and waive the reading of the remainder of the ordinance appropriating, I'm sorry, incorporating its full text into the minutes of this meeting? So moved. Second. Moved by Councillor Laffin, seconded by Councillor Allenson. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, the motion passes. I'll read the title. An ordinance amending an ordinance appropriating $1 million for Northwood Road Bridge reconstruction and authorizing the issue of $1 million of bonds of the town to meet said appropriation and pending the issuance thereof, the making of temporary borrowings for such purpose, to increase the appropriation and bond authorization therein by an additional $1,030,000. I open the public hearing. Are there any comments from the public on this ordinance? Bending off the ground swill, uh, I will close the public hearing. Uh, is there a motion in the second that the proposed ordinance be adopted? So moved. Second. Moved by Councillor Laff and seconded by Councillor Allenson. Discussion on the council. Actually, we have our town engineer here who's going to supervise the project. If you could, um, I mean, you weren't here in 2015, but obviously you're dealing with it now. If you could tell us why we need an additional $1,030,000. Absolutely, thank you. For the record, Allison Kapuscinski, Kapuscinski town engineer. Um, so the, the bridge we're talking about, just for the benefit of the public and anybody listening, um, Northford Road over the Muddy River coming from East Center Street, it's just past the entrance with Tyler Mill. Um, the Connecticut DOT inspection reports have indicated that this uh, bridge requires a high priority of corrective action or replacement due to um, substructure and superstructure deficiencies. Replacing the bridge is going to improve the uh, flooding in the area that we do experience time to time right now. We're increasing the opening for the Muddy River to flow through from 22 feet to about 40 feet. The bridge or the, the project will also incorporate widening the roadway a bit. It is a bit of a pinch point for anybody that drives down it. We're going to have two 12 foot lanes with two foot shoulders on each side. The construction is expected to last eight months if everything goes according to plan. 
and the bridge will be closed for the duration of the replacement. The Tyler Mill entrance will remain open and the water department does have a facility across from the Tyler Mill entrance, which will also remain open and we've been in coordination with them to make sure that all of their needs are met throughout the uh, construction period. We will have a signed detour route that will take cars coming from Wallingford towards Northford, um, Whirlwind Hill Road and South Branford Road to Route 17. Um, I do understand that local traffic will most likely use Cook Road. However, the uh, varying width of Cook Road is down to 17 feet at some points. So we didn't want that to be the primary recommended detour route. And lastly, the uh, bond request tonight is based off of a, uh, a public bid. So the actual construction prices. Thank you. Um, you did say that the, the bridge is going to have to be closed during construction. Do you, did you forgive me if you did say, but how long do we anticipate that? We anticipate it to be eight months. Plus or minus. Yeah. Thank you. Other questions from the council? Councilor Fishbein. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good evening, Allison. Um, did we potentially bid this to not close the entirety of the bridge for eight months? No, so the, the construction is, is pretty massive. We're almost doubling the hydraulic opening from it, and so we're going to have to do a complete substructure replacement as well. And just with the, the width and everything, um, it wouldn't have been prudent to do half and half. So we went out to someone. I mean, you have expertise in this area, so I, I, I know. Um, but we never asked about whether or not that was possible. Because isn't, I mean, the Center Street Bridge, uh, smaller bridge, got it. Smaller, you know, but that's basically how they did that, right? So I'm very concerned for the individuals that live on North Roof. I mean, there's residential within 500 feet of this bridge. That we're going to make drive all, almost all the way to Northford if they want to come into our downtown or so that's a you're cutting off a large part of the of the town of direct access and yeah so um, that decision to go with the the full replacement at one time was made before I started however um, I, I believe that you know it was obviously considered the, the people in the area in close proximity to the bridge um, when you go one lane then the other it does extend the length of construction by a considerable amount. Um, so I would assume that that came into play as well with the decision making. It would be more expensive. Um, I don't know the particulars about the Center Street project. However, I do know that um, not many people are pleased with the length of construction for that project either. Oh, um, so we're hoping to get in and out and you know, it's, we know it's gonna be inconvenient for hopefully about eight months and then uh, they'll have a brand new bridge and a much safer roadway afterwards. And usually, uh, we're not doing the work where it's somebody else is doing it. Correct. So, you know, weather permitting, it's eight months, right? So if we have a, a, a testy winter next year, you know, one like we didn't have this year, it's probably going to extend it to a year. So with approval tonight, we would be hoping to uh, start this project in mid-April. We have the contractor ready to go. It's just the notice to proceed after hopeful approval and then the 30 day waiting period. Yeah, so April takes us just before December, I guess. Yeah. Uh, okay, God willing. Uh, the other, well, the other thing, um, I guess for Mr. Senna, um, are we actually doing bonds here or are we just approving and? So we do have a grant it's going to pay for most of this but what we're doing tonight is giving us the ability to spend the two million thirty thousand the two million thirty and then if the grant falls through we still need to do the bridge so so we, it gives us the flexibility if I have to bond I can but we're probably to answering your question if the grant money comes through as it's supposed to we won't be bonding okay because I'm looking at section two in the document that's for us and it says to meet such appropriation um, and so much that it shall be necessary to issue the bonds um, so the bonds shall be issued and um, but I understand what we normally do in this area 
Not that I agree with it, but um, I understand where we are. So thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Just a point on that. If and usually these contracts, I'll ask you, Allison. Uh, sometimes it's unit uh, unit pricing. So if we go over what would be an expected amount, that 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 could alter what 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 has to be spent. Yeah, the uh, request tonight does include ten percent contingencies for that exact reason. So we're are we we're authorizing expenditures to cover that ten percent? That's correct. There's always the outside issue of that, and then we'd be coming back in order to amend this and seek more money. Just, just so people are aware, you can't be certain of all the prices at this point in time. Thank you. Uh, any other questions from the council? All right. Uh, there being none, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Allenson? Yes. Carmody? Yes. Fishbein? Yes. Laffin? Yes. Barone? Yes. Tata? Yes. Sandry? Yes. Chairman Cervoni? Yes. Motion passes. Thank you very much. And the uh, ordinance is adopted. On to item seven, which is regarding the opt-in to the National Opioid Settlement uh, regarding manufacturers and pharmacies. Yes, this is a national settlement. It's actually already been settled. Uh, we still have the ability to opt in to the settlement, which is $20 billion, which will be paid to, by various defendants over 15 years. Uh, there's a rather lengthy list of uh, permissible uses of the funds that we receive if we do choose to opt in. Uh, there, there's really no reason not to opt in. We have to opt in by April 18th or it'll be too late. Um, before we go on, if we could have a motion, please. Yes, Mr. Chairman, I move that we opt in to the National Opio Opioid Settlement regarding manufacturers <clears throat> and pharmacies. Moved and seconded by Councillor Allenson. Um, so do we have any idea how big a slice of the pie we can anticipate? No. Do we have any idea how many other municipalities will be participating? No. Is that information available in some way, shape, or form? Uh, since people can still opt in, it's really not fixed yet. Okay. But we don't, we don't know how many municipalities will be offered the opportunity. Other questions from councilors? Councilor Fishbein. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, I, I know on the Public Safety Committee's um, agenda, which I sit on the legislature, on Thursday we're going to be approving some of these funds to be used, um, given to the town for Narcan for the police department. Do we know if that provision is separate from what we're talking about tonight? I mean, I can ask on Thursday at, at that committee. My understanding is it's separate. Uh, like on the last settlement, we've received $147,000 that has not been allocated yet as to where it will be used. Uh, Attorney Small said the uh, health director and the administration will uh, more than likely account for that in the coming budget how to use it. Again, those are restricted things. You can't use it for anything you want. It's subject to a certain list. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'm sure I'll get more information on Thursday. But thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. So at some point, this will be back before us for appropriation, just like we anticipate with uh, the other award. Yes, because we will definitely receive money. Any other questions from the council? Questions or comments from the public? There being none, Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Allenson? Yes. Carmody? Yes. Fishbein? Yes. Laffin? Yes. Marone? Yes. Tata? Yes. Zandri? Yes. Chairman Cervoni? Yes. Motion passes. Um, 
while that is all the business we have for this agenda before I call for a motion to adjourn um, Madam Clerk I want to acknowledge uh, the fact that your last day with the town is tomorrow um, you are opting for a very young I presume retirement 59 <laughs> if you know you could have left that information out <laughs> totally at your option um, but uh, since you uh, took the position of town clerk I will say that I certainly enjoyed working with you um, you know this job has its challenges you your job has its challenges without supporting the council um, and I want to thank you for the um, the kindness the pleasantness the patience that um, you've shown certainly me and other counselors uh, in your time and um, we talked a little bit about what you plan to do with the time that is going to be uh, available to you for your personal pursuits now and um, I'm certainly very happy for you thank you so much but I I appreciate your kind words thank you um, congratulations to you I'm, I'm very grateful for your work and I wish you the best of, of a time in your retirement well, I plan on having lots of fun with my seven grandchildren I bought a new house in Florida and uh, plan to travel the country in our trailer to um, national parks so that's our current goal <laughs> yeah as someone who's taken several vacations in some of our national parks you will be amazed at, at that national resource that it's, it's just natural resource it's just beautiful I'm all really of it. looking forward to seeing that terrific thank you thank um you. if anyone else wants to say anything well <laughs> Thank you all. It's really been a pleasure and an honor to serve this town. I love it. Thanks, Mayor. <laughs> Thank you. All right, with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Second. Moved and seconded. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Hearing none, I declare this meeting of the town council adjourned. And uh, we will reconvene in five minutes for the next meeting. Thank you.